All right, ladies and gentlemen, that then was the Samsung Galaxy S3. A more detailed review when it's about to get launched in India. We will have it first exclusively. But now comes another very important question. Now, the Galaxy S3, a much-awaited phone, is out. The Xperia series with the S and the P were very awaited. They're out. The HTC One, especially the X, was a very awaited phone. For 2012, it's out. Other than the iPhone 5, is anything left now? Well, we decided to find out. The Samsung Galaxy S3 was launched amidst hype, curiosity and speculation. All rumours were put to rest as thousands of world media, journalists and techies got hands-on with the biggie at the London launch. Engadget seemed impressed with the Super AMO LED screen of the S3 but thought it lacked a wow hardware. CNET, on the other hand, is frustrated with the TouchWiz UI but feels that even with minor software glitches, this could well be the year's most important gadget. Even though it's uh, such a larger screen and uh, it's got a really large battery, they still kept it really thin and light, so it's just 8.6 uh, millimeters thin and about 133 grams. GSM Arena says that S3 is a thorough package and doesn't leave any exclusive features for its competitors' phones. T3 feels that the new smart features might drain the battery, but the S3 is definitely a contender for the best Android phone crown. It's packing in a gazillion features like the S Voice and S Beam. Uh, something which I really like is the pop-up multitasking. What it allows it us to do is, if you're watching a video and you want to surf the internet alongside, so you can have the video pop up above the internet browser and watch it alongside while you're surfing. TechRadar is not too impressed with the plastic feel of the phone, saying some people might find it cheap in looks. Slashgear thought otherwise, saying that the plastic casing may not be premium, but it's not as cheap as the predecessor. You know, a lot of social networking features as well as to how it identifies people in a picture, if they are your friends on Facebook, um, and sends the picture out to them, that is another brilliant thing. So now that all the super smartphones are already out, what more is there to look out for in the smartphone market? Of course, there is the next iPhone that we have our eyes set on. Besides that, the LG X3 and the HTC Zeta are two rumoured Android phones that we're waiting for. I think it'll be interesting to see how the rivalry between the iPhone and now the Galaxy S3 pans out. The only competitor which the Galaxy S3 might have will be the iPhone 5 or the iPhone next in the future. There are also rumours about Sony actually launching a even higher-end phone uh, later this year would be something to look out for. Do you have the Indie TV Profit app? All the markets, all the news and your own homemade, ready-made portfolio available there for you. We will right now answer what you should sell, what you should buy when markets are down. Download at IndieTVProfit.com slash apps. Get the best app from the channel you trust.